Hello, my name is Dick Oder. I'm with the NetBackup product management team. Uh, I'm here today to tell you about the incredible value that the BMR feature brings to uh, the NetBackup um, customers. Uh, first of all, let's think about the problem. Uh, the problem has to do with uh, you know, automating server recovery. So uh, if, if you look at the problems, the customer really would like to have an automated single tool. Very important. Uh, some of the competitive uh, solutions would have a separate product or, uh, or, or, or maybe a product that's loosely attached. Single tool is very, very important, automated. Also, something that's platform consistent, something that covers the major platforms that, that the customer has. Uh, and, and cost effective uh, in terms of um, documentation, training, uh, the price of the product. So how does, how does BMR really work? Well, BMR is not a separate product, like I said. It is part of net backup. So when you have net backup, uh, on the master server side, you have something that's called a BMR server component. And in it, it's part of the NetBackup master server. Uh, when you install the NetBackup standard client, the BMR functionality is built in. And so from a backup standpoint, well, how do you really get it started? Well, it's really pretty simple. Uh, in the policy configuration for the client, there's a checkbox that says collect BMR information. And when that is checked, along with selecting all the appropriate local drives, obviously you've got to back up everything that you need to, to have to restore, uh, it, it becomes pretty simple. Because each and every backup, normal backup that gets scheduled, there is another process that runs here which sends a blueprint of this client's configuration that we'll need for a restore, and it gets stored automatically over in the master server in this BMR database. So now, let's take a look at what happens when you do a restore. Well, uh, we'll need something like a boot server or a, media, uh, or, uh, or a piece of media to initially boot this particular client because we want to get it to a state where it can start the backup process. So we'll need something called a shared resource tree. And what's in there is minimally some OS components, the, uh, the net backup client piece, and, and things like you know, volume managers and things that we would need for this particular platform. And so this essentially becomes the core piece of what would get booted into this client so that it can start the normal restore process. And then once it's fully restored from a normal net backup restore and finished off, it's done. And you have a server that is restored. Now let's take a look at the complexities of using, um, uh, of restoring a, a server without using BMR. So now let's take a look at um, using net backup BMR and compare that with uh, traditional server recovery uh, methodologies and uh, so if you can see that I've got it drawn out here is that in a traditional recovery um, there's going to be a lot of steps involved um, obviously you got to get the hardware repaired and ready to go but one of the more time-consuming pieces might be finding the right person finding the media finding the documentation getting all the things ready to get that uh, r server r recovered um, you know once um, you got to get it booted I uh, got to get the install uh, the OS to get it back to that consistent state. So that's not just a matter of installing the OS. It's a matter of getting that OS back to the right uh, patch levels and, and maybe other customizations that, that, are, that were there to get back to that, con that consistent level. Uh, uh, obviously, probably another reboot. Um, got to get the net, got to get the backup software installed and properly configured. Got to get uh, another, possibly another reboot. Uh, and then finally to get to the point where you can actually um, use the backup software to restore all the files and then do eventual reboot. So you can see this recovery time is manual, can take a long time. It's subject to um, maybe errors uh, because it is manual. Uh, it may be a different person each time doing it. So it's, it can, uh, it's very unlikely <laughs> that you might get back to a consistent state with the traditional recovery methodologies. However, if you're using net backup BMR recovery, it's more likely that you'll get to a fast, consistent uh, re recovery. Uh, obviously, you have to have a, a repaired hardware. Uh, with, uh, with net backup uh, BMR, simply execute the uh, prepare to restore command, either from GUI, command line, whatever makes sense. Uh, also, uh, then you would just simply do a, a, a reboot once the whole process is done. And in this process here, all of this uh, is automated by the BMR net backup feature and, uh, and should have a very consistent recovery. So what does that mean? Well, you've got a fast, consistent restore 
uh, and every time and comparing to the traditional recovery you can see the value of net backup BMR. So wrapping up, what are the three takeaways? Well, number one, customers want an automated single tool. With net backup BMR and its integration we have that. Platform consistent. BMR covers all the major platforms that a customer may have. And number three, cost effective. You don't pay extra for BMR, it is part of NetBackup, a fundamental feature of NetBackup. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.